I mean, I first started working with Frankie Newman when we were working on the docks. I was uh, contracted by his uncle, Bobby. Now, Bobby was an Italian, and he happened to be the hairiest man I think I've ever seen. He looked like an Arab wearing a fur coat, and that was when he didn't have his shirt on. He was once, uh, accidentally caught in a net and uh, towed out to sea for about 30 days. Even if you're staring down the, uh, the muzzle of a decomposing fish beast, 30 days at sea with your chest hair tangled in the uh, rigging of a boat, it'll turn you on something fierce. I don't care what anybody says, I didn't fuck no dolphin. Well, the docks were an obvious choice for Frankie. He'd, um, aside from his years of nautical and sort of industrial experience, Frankie happened to be, among other things, in possession of a a crab pincer for his left hand. You know, a full exoskeleton crustacean incisor. It was a real calcium carbonate work of art, that thing. It was, it was beautiful. It was made of crab meat! It was a sculpture! It was a piece of art! But that didn't stop Frankie Newman. He was the uh, hardest worker on the Lower East Side docks. Well, I mean, to lose a guy like Frankie was always going to be tragic. He was doing the morning shift. And, you know, as he does, it like he needed to drive a forklift down to the docks, but it's quite a challenge for a man with a one only one human hand. When out of the out of the blue, um a lady, or at least she seemed to be mostly lady, ran out in front of his forklift. She had a face that was in effect a uh well, it was a squid. She was a, uh, and I've been there myself. I'm not afraid to admit she was, uh, she was a real ride, and she was, uh, she was dragging a young boy behind it. But in this case, and in Frankie's peculiar biological case, it appeared that the boy was in fact actually a prawn. The black, the black, black eyes on the stalks, watching everything. It was obvious to Frankie that uh, this prawn boy could only be the spawn of an unholy union between a man with a crab hand and a lady with tentacles on her head. Well, f needless to say, Frankie freaked out, but from my understanding, he quickly and decisively, with his large crab-like appendage, severed that squid lady's head and made kebabs out of the prawn boy. From my, uh, albeit shallow understanding of the, uh, constitution, I would say nothing really falls under cruel and unusual punishment like, uh, boiling a crab man alive and, uh, and then eating him at the uh, police charity banquet. It was uh, a dark day, and I don't think many of the boys down here ever forgave the NYPD. They ate up his juicy crab flesh! <laughs>